Hello, this is Mrs. Ross, and this is Lesson 16. We're going to talk about U.S. customary units, or the system, uh, and function tables. This is the practice set for Lesson 16. You can find this practice set on page 111 of your Saxon Course 2 um, textbook. All right, so what I did was I uh, brought in some a chart of some measurements. There's actually a chart in your book as well. Uh, so it's probably one of those things that you're either going to want to uh, copy into the back of your spiral or at least put a page number reference or something because you will use this throughout the year. So a typical door may be how many feet tall. So if I'm about six feet tall and the door is taller than me, I'm going to say seven feet. How many quarts are in a half gallon? All right, so let's go down here and we see one gallon is four quarts so a half gallon would be two quarts okay see when alberto was born he weighed eight pounds seven ounces is that weight closer to eight pounds or nine pounds so what I know is that down here in weight, it says one pound is 16 ounces. So is he closer to eight? If he were eight pounds, nine ounces, I guess he'd be closer to 16. So I'm going to say he's closer to eight. All right, let me change colors here. How many ounces are in a two cup measurement? Let me see if they have that. Okay, so we have one cup is equal to eight ounces. Okay, so two cups, we're going to multiply by two and get 16 ounces. E, both pots are filled with water. What is the temperature difference in degrees Fahrenheit between the two pots of water? So I have 200 degrees Fahrenheit and 172. The temperature degree, temperature difference in degrees Fahrenheit is... 200 minus 172 is 28 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, let's keep going. Okay, we've got some fractions here. Let's do this. Simplify. So 3 eighths of an inch plus 5 eighths. So 3, three plus 5 is 8 over 8 because our denominator doesn't change, which is 1 inch. 32 degrees Fahrenheit plus 180 degrees Fahrenheit. So 180 plus 32 is equal to 212 degrees Fahrenheit. This is interesting because this is when water boils and this is when water freezes. Okay. Uh, H, we're going to go ahead and do the parentheses first. So I'm going to leave the two hanging out there, and I have 3 feet plus 4 feet is equal to 7 feet, which is going to give me 14 feet. And then I, I have 1 ton is equal to 1,000 pounds. If I go back and look here, you'll see down here at the bottom, 1 ton is 2,000 pounds. So if I plug that in, because I can't subtract 1,000 from 1 because these are not the same units. And I have to use the same unit. So I have 2,000 pounds minus 1,000 pounds is equal to 1,000 pounds. Oh, that turned out really bad. Okay. All right, Jay. A sheet of plywood is four feet wide. Copy and complete the function table. Well, we have it right here. Uh, it, to determine the width in inches of a sheet of plywood. How, oops. How wide is a sheet of plywood? What is the rule for this function? So what we have is we have um, one foot is equal to 12 inches. So the rule for this function is that I'm going to multiply feet times 12. So whatever, two feet times 12 is 24, three feet times 12 is 36, four feet times 12 is 48. So the plywood is 48 inches wide. All right, I think that that's the end of our um, practice problems. If you have any questions, please let me know. Have a great day.